What's up everybody, this is Daniel with Champion, and get this thing off me. This is Daniel with Champion Industries, and we're down in our training center today taking a very close look at the new automated D-Lime cycle that's available on the Champion Pro Series rack conveyor machines, as well as our 6000 series of door type dish machines. So let's go over how to set it up, what it looks like from the factory, maybe even share the secret password with you all, and then just do a quick little run through, that way you know what to show your customers or different operators on these machines. Let's get started. So let's go over to the control panel here where we have our machine all warmed up and ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit the little wrench in the corner and then I'm going to hit the D-Lime button in the middle. So the first thing we're going to do is go into D-Lime setup and I'm going to need to enter the password. So that is 7777. Write that down with some red crayons. So from the factory, the machine comes set up with the D-Lime notification turned off. So this part right up top here is all about that notification that's going to pop up for the operator when it's time to D-Lime. So right now it's set to off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on by pressing that. Let's move this camera around a little bit. And so right now it comes factory set at 100 hours. So let's say my water isn't too hard and I know I can get away with every 200 hours. I'll just tap on that and then adjust here and then hit enter. So now that's set for two, every 200 hours to give me that notification. So down here at the bottom, we'll see here in just a moment when we demo this process, but our D-Lime wash, since it's completely automated and all the operator needs to do is follow along with what's going on, put in the right chemicals and the machine does the rest. So right here, what this will do, so when I hit D-Lime, ready to go, this machine is gonna go into a D-Lime wash for 25 minutes. And in that 25 minutes, it'll cycle around all that D-Liming solution and clean water and after 25 minutes, it'll go into a D-Lime rinse twice. So two times that it'll rinse for five minutes. Now, if you're in an area that may be going for 35 minutes or 45 minutes might be a better idea for the D-Lime on the machine, just like we did before, simply touch, change the values here, hit enter, and then D-Lime rinse, typically five minutes for both of the D-Lime rinses is perfectly acceptable for almost anywhere you are. But if you wanted to adjust that, by all means, uh, it's your machine, you can do anything you want with it. So let's back out of there. So now it's time to truly start D-Liming the machine. So what I'm gonna do is hit D-Lime start. And the machine's gonna ask me, are you really, really sure you wanna start D-Lime? Because once you do, you're in it. There's no way to get out of this. Even if you turn the power off to the machine and turn it back on, this machine is gonna stay in D-Lime. So let's move this around here. Once we go into D-Lime, that's it, you're in it. So chances are you're probably gonna wanna do this in the evenings after a shift, and that is the beauty of how we've set this up, is once you add the D-Lime solution, the machine does everything else from there. The only thing the operator needs to do is just let it run and walk away. The machine will go in the D-Lime cycle, rinse itself, and then go into a screen asking the operator if they're ready to start the new day. So let's go through this. So I truly do, yes, I want to start de-liming the machine. So I'm gonna hit yes. And so the machine is immediately gonna start draining. Cause again, if there was washed water and dirty water in there. And so we wanna get that out of the machine. So once it's done draining, it's gonna ask for a little more input and we'll come right back. All right, so now our machine is done draining and the next prompt it is telling me here is that it is time to clean the screens. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the machine. It's telling me I need to clean out the screen. So I would go down here, first check my scrap basket, and then I would check my scrap screens. Now, here's a nice little tip. So anytime we're de-liming a dishwasher, a rack conveyor dishwasher, what we're gonna wanna do is take off our final rinse arms and lay them down on top of our scrap screens. And I'll show you that. I'm gonna put the camera down for just a moment. I'll come right back and show you. All right, so I pulled out both the upper and lower rinse arms. So I have those right here. And so what I'm gonna do for the deliming process, I'm just gonna lay those down on top of our scrap screens. And the reason for that is if I leave them attached up where they are, 
uh, in the machine, when the D-Lime process, wash process, happens and the pumps kick on, it all goes through the wash pumps. And so the nice little rinse arms are hanging out there by themselves, not getting any love. And so we want them to get some love. So that's why we take them out, place them right there, and they'll get plenty of action right there. So once we're done with that, we know we clo uh, cleaned our screens, the machine tells the operator, close door to fill. So I'm going to close the door. So, and then the fill starts. So once that's done, we'll come right back and show you the next step. Well, that was quick and easy. So once it's done filling, the next thing it tells me to do is add some chemical. So at this point, I would open up the door, dump in my chemical. Now let's have a quick conversation about chemicals. We are not, whoop, whoop, there we go. Pumps are on, it's going into D-Lime. So let's talk about chemicals for just a moment. So we are not a chemical provider, nor can we give anybody any uh, real great advice on which chemical to use and how much of it. It really depends on water quality in somebody's area. So we leave that to the experts. So we do tell our customers, look, get in touch with one of the local chemical providers. They typically know the water hardness in that area or can look it up very easily and recommend the right product and the dosage to do based on the size of the machine. So find your local chemical rep, use them as a good resource. We'll be back in a minute. Once we're done deliming, wash. We'll show you the rinse process too. All right, so this next step in the process, and again, as you can see, this is all very easy. So we're done with our D-Lime wash, and so the machine by itself is draining. So it's draining all that water with the D-Lime solution out of the machine, and it's gonna begin to refill and go into the first of two D-Lime rinses. So each of those are gonna take five minutes a piece, so we'll come back once those are done. All right, so we've just finished our last step of the deliming process in this awesome new automated delime cycle, which is the machine just drained after the final delime rinse. So now up on our screen, you see here it tells you delime complete, touch to continue. But I'm going to tell you, don't touch that dial. Why? Because we haven't put our final rinse arms back in yet. So open up these doors, look down there. You've got a nice, beautiful, clean machine and we have our rinse arms down there. So I'm gonna pull those out, put those back in, and uh, reinstall those rinse arms. And when I do, once I've got those back in, uh, again, this is a good time to take a look around on the inside of the machine, make sure the D-Lime process did its job. If there's for some reason still lime scale buildup or anything like that on the inside of the machine, hey, run another cycle. Maybe adjust how long the D-Lime wash goes on for. So if we did it for 25 minutes, didn't really get it all, maybe we need to D-Lime for 35 minutes or 45 minutes or possibly even longer. Again, this is where we tell you to get in touch with your local chemical provider, have them give you the rundown on the right chemical and maybe how long to, to go for. Also, it may be a good idea to D-Lime more often. So again, if we, let's say we were doing every 200 hours, we would wanna bump that down to every 100 hours or every 80 hours. Again, use some good common sense on this and get to know your machine and how the hardness of the water affects it. So I'm gonna get these rinse arms back in. Once I do, I'm gonna close this door back up and then I'm gonna to touch that button right there. When I do, it's gonna to begin to fill the machine. So that means I'm ready to get back in action and wash some dishes. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions about this process, refer back to your owner's manual or give us a call or jump on the web and look us up, www.championindustries.com. Thanks.